All three of the leaders we talked with called what happened yesterday a wake up call to America. They say what happened between Capitol Police and the protesters illustrates a painful truth the black community has lived with for generations. Restraint in the face of chaos, puzzling to some, painfully expected by the president of Cleveland's NAACP. I honestly did expect to see a lack of fear and concern. Danielle Sidnor says all you have to do is look at the colors of the faces to know why. Unfortunately, we have a very hard time in this country talking about the fact that the skin color really makes a difference when we talk about the response of police. A perceived double standard that Justin Bibb, founder of the social and economic justice nonprofit Cleveland Can't Wait, says he learned growing up, the son of a police officer. But I also remember having those uh, quiet conversations with my, my late father on his bedside and him telling me how to talk to police. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. And so uh, he always knew, even as a cop, that there was a double standard. Um, and that just shows us that we still have a long way to go in this country to make sure that we eradicate that uh, racism and bias that exists. And while images like this may have shocked many, don't count the director of Case Western Reserve University's Social Justice Law Center among them. This may um, get the attention of, of people in a meaningful way, unlike uh, the rights being squashed of black people during peaceful protests. Um, um, and that hypocrisy in and of itself says a lot, but it's that, that's always been known uh, to a lot of people in this country and it hasn't mattered. But Aisha Bell Hardaway and others see an opportunity to have the hard conversations, to push for real change, to get rid of the structural racism inside a justice system that for too many, some say, still isn't colorblind. You look at the tragic murder of George Floyd, the tragic murder of Breonna Taylor, and the tragic murder of our own son, uh, our own son of our city, Tamir Rice, uh, almost seven years ago. Uh, they deserve that same level of restraint and de-escalation. What we have continued to try and say is we don't need more training. We don't need more bias training. What we need is for people to just treat us all like human beings. In Cleveland, I'm 5 on your side investigator Scott Knoll.